Hello and ho 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 lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome to the Geek Cupboard Christmas special where we will be playing a game called Surprise Stack which is a Christmas themed physics puzzler game where we have to click to remove presents from a great big pile of presents in order that they don't wake a dog that seems to have ended up on top of the pile of presents. So as we remove presents from the pile, all the other presents are going to sort of fall and shift into position, and we've got to make sure that we don't wake up a dog. Now, I don't know why the dog is at the top of this pile of presents. I have no idea, but maybe we'll find out as we play the game. I do not know. It's on Itch.io right now. It is free to pick up and play, and it's just a little sort of fun game, and I thought it would be perfect for Christmas because it's all Christmassy, and it's playing Christmas music, and it's got presents in, and it's all rather splendid so I think we'll just dive straight in and have a go at some surprise stack. So there are 24 levels to complete and of course there are 24 doors on an advent calendar and that is a very nice touch. I do like that. So we've got this advent calendar here with all Christmassy things and so a snowman and a gingerbread man and some candy canes and all that kind of stuff. So let's go into door number one shall we and just see what we've got to do. So here we go. Collect presents without waking Mr. Slumberton. The dog is called Mr. Slumberton. Oh, that's just adorable. Not all presents are equal. Keep an eye on the different patterns. Okay. So do we need to be wary of these particular patterns here? Because there is no way I will be able to remember all of those patterns because they just look like present patterns to me. I mean, that one's got a target on it. That's fine. I can probably remember that. Um, okay, so let's have a go then. Level one. And there is Mr. Slumberton just having a little snooze there on top of this pile of presents. Now, I don't know why he is on top of that pile, but there we go. And we can look around. And there's like a lovely Christmas scene. There's snow falling outside. There's a lovely Christmas tree inside and a roaring fireplace. They've got all their stockings ready. Look, they've got their stockings ready for Father Christmas. And there's presents. There's an old sort of games console there. There's like a SNES type thing just there. I mean, there's a lot of detail. There's a lot of extra detail that doesn't need to be here, which just makes it all the lovelier. Um, okay. Oh, also, look. Santa's, Santa's milk and cookies are out as well. Very important. So uh, let's have a go at this and show us what we do. I think we've got four presents that we need to remove. So that's how many we're allowed to remove or that we've got to remove. Um, and if we uh, go over that, then presumably we lose. I'm not entirely sure. So let's have a look. So let's remove that. Okay, that did not go according to plan. I think Mr. Slumberton might have just woken up there. Well, there we go. Brilliant. Off to a flying start. Okay, right. Maybe let's remove the big round one first because then that's flat. So that'll fall down. I don't want to remove that one because that'll unbalance everything. So we'll remove the bottom one first now and then that one. And then that one. There we go. Right, so now we're down to no more that we need to remove. And Mr. Slumberton is safe and sound. Okay, marvellous. Right, okay. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, it's already a little bit wibbly wobbly. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, okay, right. I think we take this out first. Then he falls onto that. Then maybe that one, possibly. Yep, okay. Then that one. I mean, he's a very heavy sleeper, is Mr. Slumberton. But okay. Um, we need to get rid of two more. That one and then that one, I think. That should do the job quite nicely. Nice job. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> right. Where do we begin with this? I mean, do we take out the side ones first? It looks a little bit precarious. Um, okay, I'm thinking. I'm thinking we take this one out. If we take that one out, he'll be balanced on top of those. And then can we take out these ones here in... I mean, do we take out that one first? Oh, <laughs> I don't like it. It doesn't feel safe enough. And then maybe that one plop down. Are they two different presents? Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's two different presents. We'll take that one out. Yeah, I think they're two different presents. Right, then that one. Oh, I don't like... Oh, no, now we've got to remove three. How are we going to do this without him falling over? Uh, okay, right, well, let's take that one out. Oh, and then that one. Oh, no, Mr. Slumberton's hit the floor. Okay, right. That clearly was not the right thing to do. What if we take that one out first? What happens there? It all goes horribly wrong. Right, well, that answered that question then, didn't it? Okay, let's take out the middle ones here first then, shall we? So take those ones out and those two. Okay, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Right, take out that one. And then take out maybe that one. That one and that one really quick. He can fall onto that. Then there. Then there. And then we're sorted. So yeah, it doesn't matter about how much he falls or how much he tumbles around. As long as he doesn't touch the floor. As long as Mr. Slumberton does not hit the ground, then we will be absolutely fine. Okay. Um, 
Right. I think, I mean, is this as easy as just taking that one out and then that one and that? Oh. Oh, okay. That did a springy thing. Okie doke. Right, we'll take that one out. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah, you springy thing. You did try to catch me out there. Okay, right. So, um, yes, they were springy ones. Right, you are. Are there any more springy ones on this? Let's take that little one out. Okay, that's that sorted. Then we'll take out that lovely present. That's, that looks like a tin of chocolates to me. That is a tin of chocolates. Then that one. Oh, springy thing. Okay, so those ones are springy. But they look like different colours to the other ones. Right, we need to get rid of three more boxes. That seems like a good one to get rid of. Then possibly that one. Because then he's going to... Oh, it's a springy one. It's a springy one. Okay, right. Very good. Um... Okay, that one, that one, that one. That's a springy one. Didn't do anything. Um, is that a springy one? We, <laughs> Mr. Slumberton. Mr. Slumberton got good air just there. What if we do it now? What happens now? <laughs> he probably takes off. That's very good. Okay, right. So these tall ones are pains in the bottoms. Okay, that one, that one, that one, that one. Then can we click on that one at the back? Now, which one? That one there. That'll spring us, but hopefully we will be able to... Ah! Botherations. Oh, maybe it was that one, because that's sideways. Hang on, hang on. Right. Take that one out. That one. That one. That one. That one. And then that one, possibly. Yes. Yes. Yay! Well done, us. Okay, right. This is just a hot mess. What's going on here? Who piled these presents up? Father Christmas is not going to be impressed with your present piling skills. Right, that just vanishes. We should get rid of seven. How many are there in there? Okay, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Uh, is that a springy one? Are you a springy? No, you're not springy. Okay, that's good. That one, that one. That one might be springy. Now we need to get rid of one. Oh no, but I think he's resting on all three. And you're going to be springy. No, no. Oh, I think we just, <laughs> we just scraped through. Okay, right. Next pile of presents. Um, I do love the little train running by. I do love that. Just sort of pootling about the place. Um, okay. Well, that seems like an obvious one to get rid of. Then, how many got rid of? Four more. Okay, then that one. Oh, oh, that had that had things in it. <gasps> okay, right. That is a trick box. Can we get rid of that one? That's also got things in it. Oh, no. Okay, right. Okay, none of those two boxes then. So it's going to be one, two, three, that one. We need to get rid of one more. Is that going to be a springy one? Oh, no. <laughs> he fell off. Uh, okay, can we do that one now? Nope, we really can't. Okay, get rid of that one and that one. Now can we do that one? Okay, and then that one, and then that one. And then it doesn't matter. Okay, so in there, there's a little mini sort of basketball. A mini, it's a football. It, it, it's not a soccer ball, it's a football. And then some marble type things as well. Okie doke. Um, right, I'm a bit nervous that that's going to be a springy. Okay, that's a springy. And that went all sorts of probably wrong. And you do, I mean, you know, he doesn't really show much annoyance at being woken up. By being flung through the air. But okay, Mr. Slumberton. Uh, take that one out. Um, how many to get rid of? Two. Take that one out. And then that one. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> it was a trick present. Um, okay, can we do that one now? Can you spring it onto there? Okay. You need to get rid of two more. So that one should be okay to get rid of. And then that one. No. Oh, no. We just failed it. We just failed it. Right. Let's see if that goes any differently. Like that. Yes. There we go. Look. There we go. That's a bit more stable. Right. Okay. I don't know what level we're on. What level are we on? I'm not entirely sure. Level nine. Oh, we're doing very well. Go us. Level nine. Um. Okay. Well, two presents can go. That's nice and easy. The two long ones. Then we've got three more to get rid of. These are all going to be springy ones. Okay. That worked. That didn't work. <laughs> That really didn't work. That was a spectacular failure. That's going to turn into all those things. He's just about clean on. <laughs> how has he not just fallen out? How has, how has physics not made him fall out of there? Uh, right, do that for that one. And he's fallen on his face. Okay. <laughs> right, is that a springy? Oh, yeah, that, that didn't work. Is that a springy? Yeah, okay, right. That, that's not going to work it. That's a springy one. And that's a springy one. <laughs> Just catapulting him around, poor dog. We're going to get rid of five. Those, te those two seem obvious to get rid of. But then it's the other three that we're supposed to get rid of. That's that's quite tricky. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Let's just do that quick and hope that it works. Oh, 
<laughs> it didn't work. Uh, let's just do it really quick again. Just see if that works. Oh, no, I clicked on the wrong one. I clicked on a springy. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Nope, that is that ain't, That is not cutting the mustard right there, is it? Those three, like that. He he is. Ah, oh, I thought we were going to get away with it then. Uh, that one, that one. Does that ping him over? No. He does fall off, however, which is unfortunate. Okay, right. Do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. Do it lots of times. Ah. Oh. Right, okay. Level 9 is proving to be quite troublesome indeed. Right, um, turn that into that. That keeps him on. Okay, can we springy him? That's not too bad. Okay, right. Two more. We need two more. Now, if we could do that box... Uh, I mean, do I actually, do you want to springy him? If we springy him, that might not be so bad. And then get rid of... Get rid of the thing off his head. Then get rid of that. Yes. Okay. I mean, that was more luck than judgment, but okay, right. Next stack. Hmm. Okay, right. Are all these ones troublesome ones? Are you a springy? Right, you're a springy. Come back down. We Okay. <laughs> Maybe we need to sort of do that and that as he... Co oh! Hang on a minute. That's a new type of box. That's got punchy things on the side of it. Okay. That was unexpected. Uh, that one, that one's got punchy bits. Oh, no. <laughs> Right, okay, so has that one got punchy bits? No, that one has. How did that not just wake him up? How did that not wake him up? Right, okay, click that one. That gets rid of a thing. Clicking that, even though it's on its side, used up one of our requirements of presence there. So, okay, so that one's gone. That one's a punchy one. <gasps> oh, bother. <laughs> I thought we were going to be okay. Um. Okay, ah, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. We can turn the camera right here. They've got a target thing on. Oh, look, there's there's, a, there's more room. There's a little TV and a snowman and a drinks bottle. What else, what's behind us? What's behind us? A, a, a comfy looking sofa with candy cans. And, oh, oh, hang on, hang on. I mean, I mean that this is tea, right? They've got tea. Okay, well, this is very good. They've got tea. Um, okay, let's have a look then. So now we know. So the ones with these on the side are punchy ones. That, that, that really didn't work. But okay, right, do that. Then do a punchy, so he's going to fall off. Then get that one, so that's fine. Then, what if we get rid of that one? Okay, so we get rid of two more. Um, if we punchy that one, and then do that, yes. Okay, excellent. Oh, I didn't realise we could rotate the camera round. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that Christmas dinner. That looks wonderful. That turkey is enormous. <laughs> That's massive. We've got a bit of wine. Got some nice veg on the plate. It looks very lovely. I mean, I don't know where the kitchen is. I'm going to assume through that door. But okay, good. They've got some nice food going on. Um, if only there wasn't some idiot mucking about with all their presents and putting a dog on the top of them all the time. Um, okay. How are we going to do this? We need to get rid of six of them. So we're going to have to get rid of some punchy ones. <laughs> some punchy ones. Can we do that, look? That that's that that has really not worked there, has it? That did not work at all. What if we do the middle punchy? No. What if we do that punchy? Nope, that doesn't work either. Okay. <laughs> what if we do that one? Nope, that doesn't work either. Okay, right. I don't know what to do with these. That one, that one. Oh, it's a bit wobbly. And he's down. Okay. This might be the sternest test that we've had so far. Right, that's springy. That's fine. We can do that. We can... No, okay. Maybe we can't do that. Maybe springy is bad. Right. Get rid of that. Then do springy. Okay. Right. He's upside down. <laughs> um, right. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So now we need to get rid of two more. Punchy box. Get rid of one of those. Punchy box. Yes. I mean, he's upside down on the top of... But nice job. Really? <laughs> I mean, I don't think, I don't think that's the most comfortable way for a dog to be asleep. Upside down, partly merged into a box with great big boxing gloves in it. But okie doke, right you are. Um, level 12. That is a punchy box. That might punch those things out the sides. That's quite good. Right, that goes away. Okay, get rid of that one. Get rid of that and that. That leaves us with three left to remove. I think that can go. That can go. And then, oh, that's a springy box, though, isn't it? What if we do that? Is he going to fall? Yes. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. That worked quite nicely. Oh, he's on a great big tower. 
Are these springy boxes? Oh, oh no, they're, they're sinking boxes. Okay. They sink in stages. Right you are. That's a springy box. Okay, but he's still on top and this is a sinky box. Oh. Oh my goodness me. Right, sinky boxes, springy boxes, punchy boxes. <laughs> so many box times. Right. That's going to be a sinking box. So that's fine. So we get rid of that. That is... Is that a springy box? No, that's a shrinking one as well. Okay. Um, now, we need to get rid of five more. Let's get rid of that. That leads us down to four. That is going to shrink, however, isn't it? So we need to then time that like that, do we? So now we're down to one, and he's fallen on his face. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Dogface. I've completely forgotten what he's called. What's he called again? Mr. Slumberton. I'm sorry, Mr. Slumberton. That wasn't very good of me, was it? Um... Okay, what if we just click a load of things really quickly? <laughs> Clicking a load of things really quickly really, really doesn't work at all. It's spectacularly terrible. Right, down to five. If I get rid of this, he's going to fall down. So we can't do that. So how about we do that? Is that going to shrink as well? And then do that one so it shrinks more or less in time. Then we need to get rid of two more. So maybe that one. Oh no, and that one. Checking. Oh, botherations. Okay, maybe not that. Maybe the outside one was the right one to do. Okay, so do that. Do that. Shrinky box. Two shrinky boxes. Right, get rid of that one. Then start shrinking that down. And then, then start shrinking this down. Okay, get rid of one of those. And then get rid of the outside one. Checking. Yes. Okay, right. Level 15. We are rocking now. Uh, okay, that one. Easy. That one. Easy. Ooh. There's a shrinky one behind. That looked like a free thing that we could just get rid of. A punchy box. Okay. Ah, now that punchy box is facing that way. That could be bad. That's a punchy box also. But now we only need to... Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Slumberton has fallen. Okay. That did not work. That did not go according to plan. Uh, let's get rid of that box first then, perhaps. And we're going to... Are we falling over? I don't think we're falling over quite yet. Right, do a punchy. Uh, and we have now fallen over. Okay, fine. Right, get rid of that one. Nope, that was a terrible idea. Falling over. Um, Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Punchy box can go that way. Then that one... Oh, and he's fallen off. <laughs> what if we get rid of the big one there? Okay, also a terrible idea. Um, Okay, this is now not straightforward. So that shrinks. That can come down. It's a bit... Oh, it's teetering on these. Look, it's it's resting on those. Hmm. Okay. So what if we get rid of that? I need to get rid of four more. So bring that down. That's three. Bring that down. So now we only need to get rid of two more. Um, That is still resting on that. He's, he's very... He's a bit precarious, isn't he? He's very precariously on the edge there. So if we get rid of this... What, right, get rid of that one. Because that's fine. That's just a box of toys. So that can now vanish. If we get rid of this, is it going to balance properly on there? Don't think it is. If we get rid of this one, he's going to fall. Oh, no. Which one do we go for? Um, okay. Let's try and shrink. Let's get rid of that. Punchy. Checking. Checking. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was a little bit too close for comfort right there. Okay, level 16. Um, what do they do? Okay, they explode. Gotcha. Exploding boxes. <laughs> How does he not wake up? How do you not wake up, Slumberton? Oh, right. Okay. Well, now we can just get rid of four of them and it's all fine because he's over there. <laughs> he's tumbled that way. Yay, physics. Okay, level 17. We're doing a pretty good job here. We're doing a very good job. Right, get rid of those. Right, we've got five, so that's a springy. That's a boom. Oh, that 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 didn't go well at all. Right, that one there causes us some technical problems. So get rid of those three, and that's fine. Now we need to get rid of four more. So what does that do? That explodes. That explodes. That explodes. And that explodes. Ah, right at the end there. Right, get rid of those. Get rid of that one. That's a springy. Maybe we'll be all right with the springy. Yeah, or not. Or not. All right, with the springy. Okay, right. Boom. And that's now resting at the bottom. Okay, bang. 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 
And now, do we go for the one underneath or do we go for this one? Let's go for that one. No, so that doesn't work. It's sideways on and it takes him out. So no, not that one. So bang, 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 and bang. Does he stay on that one? Oh, do you know what? I think that's that's got to be the right solution. Just it's just got to be a bit of a bit of fortune as to whether he actually falls onto that or not. I think. Get rid of the big one, actually. Maybe that's what we do. Get rid of the big one, then get rid of the little one. He's upside down, but it's all good. <laughs> Yay! Level eighteen. This is complicated. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Eight more. Good grief. That's an explodey one. And we have fallen over. Bother. Okay, right. One, two, three, gone. Um, that's an explode. Bro. That's an explodey one. No, no, no. All gone. Right. Don't do that one. Right. Click, click, click. That's that. That's right. We need to get rid of six more somehow. I don't quite know how. Right. Get rid of that one. Get rid of this. Because that's a shrinking one. That means they're over there. So hang on. That's a spring. Oh, botherations. <laughs> I thought it might not clip it. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So hopefully they will fall away. So blow that up and blow that up. That's got rid of two more out of the way. So now we just need to get rid of three. So click that. Okay. Two more. That's an explodey one. That's a bouncy one. Is that just a normal one? That's a shrinky one. Now, the only thing is, if we get rid of that shrinky one there, I think that's a shrinky one, it's going to get caught on that and it's going to fall over, isn't it? It's going to tip over. Unless we try and do a springy and just hope that he comes back down. Yes! And beautiful! Level 19! This is very elaborate indeed. Oh, my word. Right. Oh, oh that was a springy. I thought it was a shrinky. Okay, right, fine. Uh, yep, you've fallen off a little bit. Okay, right. Not that one then. Right. That's a shrinking one. Get rid of that. That's a shrinking one. They're gone. Now we need to remove seven. Down to six. Down to five. Okay, five more. That's a springy. That's a springy. That's an explodey. Maybe that will be... Oh, no, that's not okay. <laughs> okay, right. Get rid of that bottom one. What else is on the bottom? Can we get rid of that one? Okay, that's not so bad. I mean, it's not very comfortable for the poor dog face, but we're okay. Right, get rid of that shrinking one. Get rid of that shrinking one. That leaves us with four more to deal with. So, down to three. Down to two. Ah, right. Uh, down to one, possibly. Oh, it's all a little bit precarious. Um, oh, hang on. Can we get rid of... Can we get rid of that? Is that going to be stable? Uh, allegedly so. Allegedly so. Have a lovely night's sleep, Mr. S whatever you're called. Slumberton. I keep wanting to call you Mr. Sleepums. Mr. Slumberton. Okay. This looks suspiciously easy. What's going on here? Why Why is this like this? What do they do? Okay. There's a balloon. Right. What if we pop... Are we supposed to touch the balloon? Why is there a balloon? Okay. And now there's another balloon... Oh, right. I see. They float away. I thought the balloon was over his head and we would pop it and it would wake him up. Okay. Well, that's certainly a thing that just happened. Right. That's bouncy. That can go away. That can be bouncy. That can clear off. Um, that can have a balloon. Oh, no. <laughs> it took him away. <laughs> That's very funny. Okay, right. Right, that one, that that balloon can clear off. That can springy. Um, that can springy, because it'll come back down. Nope, not quite right, though. What if we do that now? What if we springy him there? That, that really doesn't work. Uh, boom. Ah, that's just a free get rid of one. Okay, that's good. Those two balloon ones can clear off, then. So they can go away. They're both springy. And then we do a springy and hope that he lands back down, all right? Because if not, nah, no. Okay. Okay, right. Boom, get rid. Do the springy now. And then he might be held on by those things. Yes. Okay, right. Now we've got it. Now we're sorted. And down to zero. Nice job. Level 21. Bring that one down. Because that's a, that's a shrinky. That is a sproingly one. So, ten? Oh, my word. 
Uh, that's a punchy one. There's an explodey one in there as well. Right, get rid of that one. Get rid of that. Uh, that's a normal one, is it? Oh, that's got the little presents in. Okay, right. That's all good. <laughs> get rid of that one. Um, right. That's a sproingy one, isn't it? So that's going to go boing. So get rid of that. So boing. That's done. That... Oh, bother. <laughs> Okay, right. That's a, that, that's a that's a punchy one. That's an explodey one. So get rid of that. Right now, get rid of that one. Then get rid of that. Then get rid of that. Then get rid of that. They'll just fall off. Get rid of that one. Yeah. Okay. Right now, that's a sprungy one. Get rid of a regular present. Is this a regular present? I think it is. Get rid of that. Ooh. Okay, that was explodey. Get rid of that little one just there. That is also exploded. Oh, pants. Okay. <laughs> Are they all explodey ones? Okay, get rid of that one then. Get rid of that one. And he's very precariously balanced. Get rid of that one. And he's fallen off. Okay. I think we're kind of onto something. I think we've got the right sort of sequence of things. So get rid of that. And then get rid of that. And then get rid of that one. That one can go away. That one clears off. Then we want to sproingy that one. So we... Okay. So we're down to five that we need to get rid of. I think we need to get rid of... That one's going to have balloons in it. So there we go. So that does that. That one is also balloons. So hopefully that will move that out of the way. Then we can punchy that one. That'll vanish. Now we need to get rid of two. Okay. Can we get rid of an explodey one? And hope that it remains on the top. We're down to one. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we get thinking we get rid of this long one here, and then it'll drop into place. Yes, a ah, beautiful, nice job. Thank you. Right, level twenty-two. We're nearly at the end, and this is ludicrous. This is all sorts of shenanigans. It's not even stable right now, let alone with me removing stuff. Okay, boom. Well, that's one thing down. We're down to eleven. <laughs> right, that's got stuff in it. Do a punchy because that can just clear off. Oh, it's falling over. Okay, right, 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 right. It's all fine because these are now fair game. We can take these away. That's a sproingy. That's one that vanishes. That's one that vanishes. Did one go over there as well? There's a present there that we can get rid of. Right. We're down to three, but we are in a bit of an unfortunate position. Right. Get rid of that. That can blow away. Is that a regular present? Oh, yes. Okay, right. That was that was more fortune than, than skill. I think <laughs> it was more luck than judgment. Okay, next stack. What is going on? Who is piling these presents up? Has Father Christmas been drinking? Of course he drinks. He's, he's, he drinks sherry, doesn't he? Um, yeah, maybe he's had slightly too many. Right, get rid of that. Let's get rid of 11 more. Oh my goodness. Okay, right, can we get rid of that? Um, yeah, now hang on, hang on. He's balanced up on there with those. Ah, oh, this that's tricky. That is very tricky indeed. If we get rid of that little present there... That leaves us down to nine. Does that one go away? That's a balloon! Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Right. Get rid of that one. That's an that's not an explodey one. Get rid of that. Okay. Don't, don't, don't do that then. Right. One and two. Three. Are there any other presents we can just get rid of easily? Four. Five. Okay. They look like simple ones. If we get rid of this, he's going to fall down. So don't do that. Uh, what if we do the punchy? The punchy causes an immediate collapse of everything. <laughs> oh dear. I wonder if we're supposed to just go through and pick certain things that we know are going to be all right. So pick that one. Pick that one. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. That, oh, that was, okay. That was, that was fortunate. That was fortunate. That's a, that's a, a shrinky one. So that's gone. That looks fine. Two more. How can we get rid of two more? What's in... Th oh, has that got a balloon in it? I don't want to do it if it's got a balloon in it. Because that would be bad. Is that a balloon? No, that's got those little presents in. And that one. Checking. Yes. Nice job. This is the last level. Because obviously 24 doors on the advent calendar. Level 24. We've got to get rid of 24 of these, have we? Oh, crikey. Okay, right. Well, we can get rid of those ones down the side. That's all fine. Um, possibly. Right, that one can explode. That one has got toys in. That's an explodey one. Oh, that's got toys in. That's a sproingly one. Okay. <laughs> right. That can just... Oh, that's got toys. That and one of these will vanish. 
That one will vanish. That's a shrinky one. So right, so we're down to we're down to nine. How many presents are there left? Nine by any chance. That would not surprise me. Is that an explodey one? Yes, it is. Question answered. And we're on the floor. Bother. Right, okay, maybe we do that one first. And that one possibly. Right. Okay. That was interesting. I thought he might land on the table for a second there. I mean, is that going to work? Does he fall onto the table? Oh, yeah, he just falls on the floor. Okay. <laughs> right. That one can explode. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. That one's now fallen down, so that's okay. They're all sort of tumbling. Right. That's got toys in. Get rid of that. Get rid of that and that. So they've gone. Get rid of that one as well. So we're down to 15 that we need to remove. <laughs> okay. Fine. 15. Uh, oh, oh, the punchy one could have caused us a bit of a problem. Right, did we did we get everything from there? Okay. Uh, right, Sproingy can clear off. That can clear off. That can clear off. That one is toys. Is that a toy one as well? Okay, right. Six. We are down to six that we need to remove. <laughs> that one at the back is probably a good candidate to get rid of that. Also, he's not resting on this one. So, okay, that's a Sproingly one. Oh, bother. <laughs> it was structurally important, was it? Okay, fine. Right, get rid of all those ones. They're easy. Get rid of the explodey ones and the explodey ones. Ooh, now, the explodey one has fallen off just there. That's good. What about that explodey one? Ooh, it's a bit precarious. That explodey one. And is he still on? He's still on. He's still on. We're okay. Right, that one has tumbled off, so we get that for free. Nice. That's an easy one. That's a punchy one. And he's been run over by a train. No oh, bother. Okay. <laughs> that, that did not go according to plan. Um, right, get rid. Get rid. Get rid. Explodey, explodey. Get rid of that one. Get rid of those ones along there. Because they're nice and easy and straightforward to get rid of. Okay, right. We're down to 13 again. Okay, get rid of that. That's full of toys. That I'm a bit worried about, because that might sproing out this way and causes all sorts of problems. There's one there that we can get rid of, and one there. So now he's balancing on this stack of things just here. Is he necessarily on that? Oh, he's, he's just on that stack, uh, which I think is being propped up a little bit just there. Okay, so we can get rid of that. No, that's, that's a punchy one. Must remember that one of those is a punchy one. Let's just click randomly all sorts of things. Okay, I mean, that went pretty well, to be fair, apart from the falling on the floor bit. But other than that, it went pretty well. I'm just going to click on all sorts. Just click on random things and see what happens. Oh, we fell right through a gap. Bother. What about that, actually? Can we get that one out of the way? And that could fall back down. Is he... <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, well, that, that that's interesting. Right, get rid of these ones over here. These are now free reign. We can get rid of those because they're not important. That one, I think, shrinks, so that's fine. That's a Sproingy, it's not going to get in anyone's way. Right, these ones down here should be all right to get there. So, boom on that. Um, get that one. That's that, that's that. That's an Explodey. That's an Explodey. Oh, no, he fell off. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, do that one, do that one, do that one, do that one, do that one. Explodey. Right, okay. We are in a precarious place once again. Right, get rid of that one. Is he balancing on... Is that on its own? Is this structure just held, hold up, held, being, yeah, being held up by itself? Because if so, I could probably get rid of other presents around it. So get rid of that one. They're exploding. So we need to be a bit careful with those. So get rid of those. Get rid of that. Get rid of... That's not a punchy one, is it? So that's vanished. Right, okay. That'll vanish. Right. Okay. That's a punchy one, which I don't think... Yeah, look, this tower is in completely independent now. That tower is on its own. Right, get rid of that. That's a long box. We can get rid of that. That one is a box on its own. That's a Sproingly one. We need to get rid of four more. That's a balloon one, so that can just clear off. What's that one? That's got toys in. That's a punchy one. We need to get rid of one more. Uh, well, that's an explodey box over there. We might as well just blow that one up. And he is absolutely fine. Yes. <laughs> Go us. Nice job. Level 24. There are no more levels for us to complete. And, and that's it. Level select. Let's go back and look at the advent calendar now. And look, we've opened them all. We have done them all. Go us. 
So there we go. That was Surprise Stack. And do you know what? I really enjoyed that. I thought that was a lot of fun. The game looks great. It sounds great. It plays really well. It's got a nice level of challenge to it. And it is entirely free. So if you want to have a go at this, if you want to have a go at some crazy physics-based puzzle shenanigans, then you can do so. It's on itch. I will put links to the itch pages in the video description below, of course, so you can go and check it out. But yeah, for free, I think that is really, really good. So all that remains for me to say is I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas indeed. Whatever you're up to, wherever you might be, I hope you have a splendid time. If you're with family and friends, if you're around someone's house, if you're out volunteering or whatever, I hope you have a lovely time. Please enjoy it. Have fun. Have a nice time. Eat, drink, be merry. I shall be in the kitchen for much of the day. So we have the in-laws coming around. So we've got the morning with just us. So we'll open presents and all that kind of stuff. And then the in-laws coming around. So from sort of well, I don't know, 12 o'clock onwards, I shall be in the kitchen cooking a lovely hopefully Christmas lunch. Last year's was a triumph. So hopefully I can repeat last year's triumph in the Christmas lunch steaks this year. But uh, yes, that's what I'll be doing. Whatever you're up to, I hope you have a very splendid time. So Merry Christmas. If you do not do Christmas, then I hope you have a very, very splendid day. Whatever the case, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, then please do leave a big Christmassy like. That would be marvellous. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe. Do a Christmassy subscribe in order to keep up to date with all the other stuff that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in this very Christmassy Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. They've ripped my arms off, ripped my legs off. I mean, you know, unfortunately they didn't rip anything else off. Yes, I'm off my face on mushrooms. Why, Lady Charlotte, I, uh, I would certainly love to taste your cake. The King of the West is an idiot. I am off my face on mushrooms. I mean, asking me questions isn't going to be my strong point at the minute.